my tap water uh, the other day come out green. Um, obviously I reported it to South East Water straight away, uh, to which they told me to run the tap for 30 minutes and let it run down the drain and they will pay for the water coming into the house and then the sewage going out. Obviously I wasn't very happy with that because you know I want to know what it is coming through my tap water. The one in this cup here is after we ran the green bit away. But you can clearly see there, it's green. But South East Water won't test it. My little girl, she won't drink it. So I'm having to buy bottled water now. The same day, I, I got these, which is um, basically pictures of a company called On Site up at the church. The engineer said they were doing sewage work. I've actually been up to where this is. There's no sewage stuff up there in, in that side. What there is, is a pipe there going down, down the bottom here and an actual water main up there. You've got the pumping one to show the pipe was actually going into the, the tanker. So two trucks were actually there, as you can see. Um, so I got in my car. With that, one of the blokes come running up from around the back of the car after I got in and shut my door, opened my door and tried snatching the phone off me. Saying we're nothing to do with the fracking. And I said, well, you, know, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you're nothing to do with it, you know what you're panicking about. I just want to get you checked out to make sure you haven't. A couple of days ago, again, same place. Uh, was going up there again and I noticed this time one of the red and white uh, I think it's uh, chemical trucks that have actually been coming into this site. There was a truck in the lay-by and we have recorded it and he started getting all hairy of us so he went round, took pictures around the back and he started reversing. As my son and this uh, protester went round the back the bloke whites on his mobile phone, lets off his brake and tries running down my son which I have all recorded, I have the whole lot documented um, then the other day I had two CID on my doorstep saying I was very aggressive to a bloke inside this truck and I said well excuse me, no I wasn't although I had every right to be because he just tried running down my son I showed him the proof to which the officer said I haven't just seen anything, these are two CID bearing in mind at my house saying I haven't just seen anything, I said you've just watched it and he said no no we didn't, no we didn't like so then my son then got the recording put it right up to their face to which the police aren't bothered about it. They said, no, sorry, we don't want to know. The government allow all the police officers here down to protect saying the people of this country don't even want. Quadrilla's head office in Lichfield, the Birmingham, has been <laughs> occupied by people yeah. and also blockaded. <laughs> and there are people on the roof dropping banners as well. Go to Quadrilla Resources, which is their website, and you'll see that it's advertising solidarity with the great gas gala, <laughs> and there's information Cats. about the dangers of fracking all over it. Yeah. 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 Another office, which is Quadrilla's PR company, has been blockaded this morning by people who have simply wow. themselves to the door. <laughs> Someone secretly filmed a senior executive from the PR company admitting that the things that they've been saying about fracking, the pro-fracking, was a lie, and that is being played out the front of the London office on a loudspeaker. Yeah! Yeah! The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated.
Mates, can we ask you to move to the side, please? You're blocking emergency exit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get your face in? Demonstrations like this are incredibly effective because actually I think MPs are watching what's happening and when they begin to understand just how many fracking wells would be required even to get just a fraction of the gas from fracked wells that, that Quadrilla says is there, I think they are imagining this multiplied hundreds of times over across the country and I think that is quite a strong message to them to suggest that there is a massive opposition to, uh, to fracking. In terms of what they're thinking in Parliament, people are not really looking at the climate change arguments at all. They're just kind of saying, well, as long as we've got it properly regulated, then we can guard against water pollution, let's say. And I think that's just a, such a simplistic argument because, A, we know that regulations are very frequently um, uh, 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 breached. We know as well that what we're talking about here is not just the local environmental effects, important though they are, but we're also talking about the front line of, of the battle against climate change. And when you've got more and more evidence suggesting that we need to leave two thirds of known fossil fuel reserves underground if we're to have any chance of keeping below two degrees warming, then the idea of going to such lengths to find yet more fossil fuels is just so incredibly perverse. So I do think that, that events like this are incredibly effective at sending that message.
here, you want to, we, we, we can go out, but we can't. No, it means you're liable to arrest if you're this side of the line. Section forward! Here, shall we go? I do too. Thank you, it's alright. Thank you. Guys, let's give us a break, please. Get off his face! Get off his face! Not resisting, okay? He's not resisting, okay? Ready? 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 Ready?